Chair of the recall effort against Mayor Latoya Cantrell is being sued by the Times Picayune and the Advocate newspaper. As Sabrina Wilson reports, the newspaper wants information on who signed the recall petition, but says it's not interested in printing all the names. For months, a petition drive against New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell has been underway, and now it's the subject of a lawsuit. This is the suit filed February 2nd by the Times Picayune and New Orleans Advocate on behalf of reporter Matthew Sledge. It says from September of 2022 through January 24th of this year, Sledge filed public records requests with Eileen Carter, chairperson and custodian of records for the recall effort to no avail. The recall campaign calls it a shameless legal maneuver by the paper and tweeted that it refuses to turn over the names of citizens who signed the recall petition and expounded on that in a press release saying, we have refused to do so and will now see them in court. We believe that the voters who signed our petition have a right to privacy, the same right they have when casting their ballot. In any and all elections, we will uphold the public's trust. This is an open and shut legal case. The law is crystal clear. The names on the recall petition are absolutely public records. The information sought includes copies of the original signature pages for those who signed the petition, the name and year of birth of the voters, date of the signature, the ward and precinct of the voters' registration and address where the signer is registered to vote. And Renee Sanchez, editor of the Advocate Times Picayune, said in an email to Fox 8 that they're not looking to print every name. Sanchez wrote, we have no intention of mass publishing names on recall petitions. We have stressed that point to recall leaders. The law is very clear that these are public records. We believe it's in the public interest to know whether public officials are part of the recall movement or not. It's also in the public interest to know where generally in the city the recall is strong or not. That's important now and for the historical record. Mike Sherman is a lawyer and Fox 8's political analyst. Many people signing the petition want secrecy. The law doesn't afford them that right. In this case, the Times-Picayune is not trying to publish individual names, but they do want to see how close the recall petition is to reaching the magic number. We wanted to interview Eileen Carter for this story, but she said she was meeting with legal counsel and wasn't available. The recall organizers are certainly trying to protect the identity of folks so that there wouldn't be a chilling effect. But the truth is, the law is crystal clear here. If you sign that recall petition, your name can become public. The recall campaign is still gathering signatures. And the Secretary of State's office website says once the first signature is obtained, the recall petition becomes a public record with the chairman or vice chairman when acting as the chairperson custodian. Eileen Carter, chair of the recall campaign, says she would be available for media interviews tomorrow. Now on Wednesday, there's a court hearing on the lawsuit.